When I left Montreal to come to Toronto, I knew that the character of the city would be different. I was really very surprised that the um, photographic community was so open to my participation and my aesthetics. In Montreal, a straight photographer or a documentary photographer would cross the street rather than call me a photographer. Um, and so therefore, I was always categorized as a conceptual artist, and I didn't really worry about the labels. Um, but the photographic community in Toronto was a community that was, you know, really offering itself to me and very interested to teach me the finer points of photography and the fine print and very anxious to understand why I would heat and stretch a negative. You know, how brazen can that be? I've always used myself in my work because I want the audience to understand that what I'm, I'm constructing in the photograph is my muse, my questions, as opposed to a, a, a theatrical representation. I, I would never, in fact, hire someone to actually be in my work because then I'm developing character, whereas what I'm really trying to do is um, have my audience understand the urgencies or resistances that I felt in my life that I think that many of us have felt together. How it relates over time is that the earliest of work, the on-stage work that was really influenced by Detroit was that I was raised to be someone's wife and mother and I wanted to actually do an artwork to invert that. I wanted to take control of my representation. The work later on in Montreal dealt with, you know, power dynamics and understanding where women actually had a glass ceiling. The world still promised opportunities, but the glass ceiling is there. And in Toronto, I think that the interesting element is that I'm no longer a young, hot artist. I'm 67 years old. I'm talking about the older body, but I don't want to close the door on a younger audience. So in terms of talking about the older body, to have an understanding, I'm also talking about a different beauty and those kinds of resistances. I love what I do. I'm fortunate that I'm still doing what I love. And I wouldn't trade all of the education and maturity that I now have that I didn't have when I was younger to be younger.